Have you been asked to present an M. Curic statement? No need to worry. This video will serve as your guide on how to complete the online application and apply for an M. Curic statement. It's important to know that M. Curic doesn't provide recognition for certificates of attendance, in-house training courses, professional titles, warrants or licenses. For further information on professional titles, warrants and licenses, click on the Mutual Recognition of Professionals tab, which can be found under our Services tab on the homepage. Before starting to fill in your application, make sure you have all the necessary documents ready, such as certificates, transcripts, diploma supplements and translations. If you're interested in pursuing a particular programme of studies, you'll be completing a prospective application. While you don't need to upload any documents to do so, you'll be asked to provide a web link to your programme of studies. If you have already completed the course, you'll need to upload copies of your diploma and transcript, as well as the documents that reflect the content of your course together with the relative grades and credits. In the case that your documents are neither in Maltese nor in English, a complete translation from an authorised translator or an apostle's translation needs to be provided. From the main page of the MFHEA website, access the main menu at the top of the page. Click MCURIC and select Academic Qualifications. The MCURIC section will be open. It's important to review the instructions and terms and conditions on this page before you continue the application form. This page also provides links for further information on the Multi Qualifications Framework, the Register of Accredited Courses for which an application is not needed, and a printable guide on how to fill in the application form. When you're ready to start filling in the online applications, select the button Apply here. The first page of the application is all about you. Although only the fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory, it is recommended that you fill in all the fields. You must provide information about your address should you wish to receive a hard copy of the statement. After entering your mobile number and an optional home telephone number, select the reason or reasons why you are asking for the statement by ticking the appropriate checkboxes. Click on Next to proceed to page 2 of the application. The second page of the application is dedicated to information that is pertinent to the qualification for which you are requesting an MCURIC statement. The first three fields are mandatory and there are also drop-down menus. Start with the first one, Country of Awarding Body, and select the country from where the program was awarded. Once you've filled in the first field, click on the drop-down menu in the second column, Name of Awarding Body which consists of a list of institutions from the selected country. It is important to first check if your awarding institution is in the list provided, and if it is, select it. If it is missing, select New Institutions, and type the name of the institution in the blank field provided. The third drop-down menu is for the name of the qualification. The menu in the third column automatically adjusts to reflect the programmes of studies that M. Curic have already assessed, according to the institution you choose in the second column. Click on the drop-down menu and if your program of studies is listed, select it. Otherwise, select New Qualification and type the name of the program in English in the blank field provided. If you have not yet completed the program you are interested in and it's not available in the list provided, check the box Prospective Application. Fields which are not relevant to your options will be removed but you still need to provide a web link to the program of studies. In either case, select Add to confirm your selection. If you have nothing further to add to the program, you may proceed to the bottom of the page and check the box I hereby state. In doing so, you'll be confirming the terms and conditions. Finally, click on Confirm and Pay to proceed to the final page of the application. If you found the name of the institution and the program on the website in columns 2 and 3, you will receive the statement straight away. If your program was not listed and is there for a new qualification, you need to upload all your documents as one PDF file. Click on the button marked Upload, locate the file on your computer and select the file. 
the size of your uploads must be 8 megabytes or less. If the original qualification was issued in English, check the relative checkbox to confirm this. Not marking the checkbox means that the original program was issued in a language other than English. In this case, you need to supply the program name both in English and the original language. You must also upload a PDF copy of the program translated into English. It is important that original and translated program documents are uploaded separately. Make sure to fill in the remaining mandatory fields, such as the awarding body's address, the number of years it took you to complete the course, and the date of award. Dates can be entered using the calendars provided when clicking on the appropriate field. Select Add to confirm the qualification. This will be added to the list together with the associate field next to it. At this stage, you can either repeat the process to add more qualifications or proceed to I hereby state to confirm the terms and conditions. If you want to receive the statement by post, check the box Receive by post. Finally, click Confirm and Pay to proceed to page 3 of the application. In the third and final page of the online application, you'll be requested to make the necessary payments. Select the account you wish to pay from. Accepted credit cards are listed in the drop-down list. You will receive an acknowledgement and a receipt a few minutes after payment. MCURIC cannot guarantee a specific amount of time for a qualification to be completed, as the research times required may vary from program to program. However, if you have any queries in the process, we're happy to help. If you requested a hard copy of the statement, this is usually sent once the application is finalized. Automatically generated certificates are issued within minutes of confirmed payments. If you have other queries about application procedures or prefer applying in person, you should contact servits.gov via free phone 153 for further assistance. If you have any questions in relation to update requests and other technicalities, you can contact us via email on mcuric at mfhea.mt for further assistance.